President Biden wants OPEC to increase oil production to lower gas prices, but he's the one that killed the Keystone Pipeline on day one in office, and the governor of Montana, Greg Gianforte, joins me now. Governor, this pipeline was going to run in part through, through your state. What do the pipeline workers, those in the oil industry in Montana, make of the president saying, oh yeah, OPEC plus pump more oil? because we're no longer energy independent right here in the U.S. Well, Lauren, thanks for having me on. Uh, this was really a devastating move for Montana. You know, we pursue an all of the above policy in energy and we're a net exporter, exporter of renewable energy. Mm -hmm. uh, but this unilateral decision cost us thousands of jobs, hundreds of millions of dollars of tax revenue that would have paid for our schools and local infrastructure and uh, law enforcement. Uh, and, and now we see the president begging OPEC for more oil. It, it's, it's really horrendous. And the reality is we could have produced these fuels here, uh, creating American jobs and increasing national security. And the inflation at the gas pump that it's caused as well. And by the way, that bleeds into other sectors of the economy who rely on plastics, which use petroleum. All right, I digress. Uh, I want to get to this with you, Governor. The Missoula County Public School Board in Montana has approved a mask mandate for all students and teachers when school starts this fall. What's your take on kids wearing masks in schools? Are you okay with the school district and the individual schools setting precedent? Well, we've heard from hundreds and hundreds of parents all over Montana. They want their kids back in the classroom under normal conditions. Uh, I believe, as many parents do, that masks should be optional, voluntary, not mandated. We Mandates haven't worked, uh, and they impede learning. Uh, it's difficult for little kids to wear masks. Uh, and the CDC has been all over the map on this with different advice at different times, with different suggestions. And we need to look at the science, keep our kids healthy, and get them back in a situation where they can start learning again. What will you do if a school district says they're mandating masks in their area? Well, I, I believe in local control for these school boards. They have the authority to make this decision. Mm -hmm. They need, I've sent a, a, a letter to all of them, they need to listen to the parents and look at the science yeah and not hide behind their masks. You know, I've been talking to a lot of, because I'm concerned about my own children, a lot of doctors uh, about masks and vaccines. And, you know, most doctors right now are saying kids need to mask up in school. And look, do I want my children wearing masks? No, because it's not normal or natural, but they say we need to start the school year like that and, and take it from there. And I guess that's just the world that, that we live in. Uh, one more as we wrap this up, Governor. Can you give us an update on the major wildfires we know they're on the West Coast, well, but they're also threatening Montana. We have unhealthy air conditions here in Montana today. Uh, we've already burned 10 times more acres than we do in a normal year. Uh, and over 760,000 acres have burned. We have north of 80 fires currently burning. We've had over 2,000 fire starts so far this year. First, hats off to our firefighters. They're on the front lines. We have thousands of brave men and women fighting these fires right now, but it points out the need to get back to active forest management. We've been poor stewards of the forest. We have a, health, a forest health crisis. This is why just last week I called on President Biden to endorse the Resilient Federal Forest Act. We can be better stewards and get healthier forests, less wildfire, more wildlife, better recreation and jobs. It can all be done, but we've got to get back to managing our forests again. Last question, Governor. Is Gianforte Italian? It is. <laughs> Simonetti. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for your time this morning. Oh, I wasn't pleasure. expecting Italians in Montana. I know I'll probably get tweets about that, but. We'll show up it. anywhere. <laughs>